lesson 149 of a course in miracles we are in a review period this is review number four my name is judith you're at the lucid mind center and this is the qigong support for a course in miracle students so how this is going to work is this first we're going to read this lesson and then i will guide you to a qigong class which i have recorded specifically for this particular review period so you have got here a core idea which is my mind holds only what i think with god so in those qigong classes which one of them is standing and one of them is seated be going to become really aware what this sentence actually means my mind holds only what i think think with god and i'm going to remind you two times about the idea which is included in this lesson those two ideas which are included in this lesson today and then you can choose to do a standing or a seated meditation whichever suits you best let's read our lesson before we start make sure to subscribe to my channel so more course in miracle students can find me so lesson 149 my mind holds only what i think with god and this is a, a very important idea because if you really contemplate what that what me, that that means is that your mind is within the mind of god and your mind wants to only hold and remember and take along what is actually thought with light and kindness and courage and and happiness and joy and all the other stuff which we are wasting our time on when we focus on the ego this is just basically wasted time unless there is some sort of learning which somebody is uh, which is getting from this um, scene of ours of our um, scenes that we are making with our ego so lesson 137 was when i am healed i am not healed alone and we were talking about sickness yesterday you see healing means that you are saving yourself that you are reconnecting to source that you are aware that you are the child of god the son of god that you are the light of the world and when you are remembering this it's almost like every cell in the body goes yes 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 she remembers it or he remembers it and they kind of get back into into working mode they they they're willing to cooperate and so but it's not referring to that it's not referring to the cells alone it's referring to when you are healed when you are when you're healing something mentally or physically emotionally then you are healing the whole line which brought you to this particular situation so many things which make us sick is maybe something which has started a generation before so when we are kind of healing this issue then we are not only healing ourselves we are actually healing the people who are around us and the people who are going to come afterwards so when you are healed you're not healed alone because our minds are connected remember that idea we often th we think that we are if if this is if this is our consciousness and each one of those fingers is a different human we think that we are the tip of this finger but it's not what we are this is just we can expand our awareness and become aware that we all are one because we all belong to this to this hand to this body like the leaves of a tree there are hundreds and thousands hundred thousand or millions of leaves on a on a tree and if each one thinks that it's maybe it has an individual life but as a matter of fact it is a one thing it's 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 the tree the whole tree with all its leaves it's creating one thing which is a tree for us and the same with humanity we all belong together all humans in the past and in the future all of us belong together we are creating humanity so we belong together so when you are healed you are not healed alone this is what we're going to contemplate in our qigong class and the second idea which is from lesson 138 goes like this heaven is the decision i must make and that is a key sentence it is very very important to become aware that you decide to be happy you decide to be joyful and sometimes it's difficult sometimes everything seems to be against you but you still have to remember that you know what is victim that you in each any situation you have got a choice of how you're looking at this at the situation and if the situation is not good and you have got 
the capacity to move out of the situation, then do that. If you, if the walls are top, falling on top of you, then go for a walk. If the walking is always the same, then go to the beach. If all that is the same, then connect to people. If you don't, if you, if your friends don't have time for you, then maybe become part of a club. But the, the decision must be yours. You must decide within yourself. I want to enjoy myself. I want to be happy. I want to be in heaven. And if you want that, then you're also going to do the next necessary step, which is coming out of this trod you are in with your life. Within your life. I mean, this is something I'm actually dealing with quite myself right now. Heaven is a decision I must make. Heaven standing for joy, for happiness, for that light within you, for that love, experience of love, for the joy uh, spending your time with other people. This is what heaven is standing for. And I would, this is exactly those two ideas which you can apply now in your Qigong class. You can either choose a standing one or you can choose a seated one. And I will also give you the, I'm going to give you the link to the class which I actually recorded when we were doing this particular lessons. I'm going to say, I'm going to give you the link to that as well. So, I suggest here is your, so here is your seated meditation, here is your standing meditation, and here is the Qigong class which I created for this particular, those particular lessons about 10 days ago. Enjoy and let me know how it was for you. See you.